today the story of my first real adult boyfriend, who is not to be confused by any means with my most recent boyfriend, who is currently on his own road trip to New York to discover his sexuality. <laughs> I don't think he likes girls. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to tell you the story of my first real boyfriend, Tommy. Okay, so when I met him, he was 19 years old. And ever since he was 17 years old, he had had this overarching dream. And that dream, as all abiding as it was, was to own a white Ford pickup truck. <laughs> My God, did he love the Ford line. And when I first met him, he told me that above all things in the world, he wanted to work on cars. And I totally believed him. And then I found out a couple weeks into our relationship that when he said he worked on cars, what he meant was that he worked at a car wash, which is cool too. That's totally fine. So after a couple of years of working at this car wash, he finally saved up enough money, finally, to buy a Ford Ranger. Now, he totally had this all worked out. He did not want like an F-350 with those ugly Julie's or anything like that. He wanted a Ford Ranger and he had it all planned out. He wanted to put rims on that thing. He wanted like an awesome sound system in the back. He wanted to put a couple of tasteful Confederate flags on the bottom. Did I mention that I dated him when I lived in Winston-Salem, North Carolina? So he had it all planned out, and after a couple of years of working at the car wash, he saved up enough money to buy this Ford Ranger totally free and clear. And good for him, right? So he buys it, and he drives it off the lot. And as he's driving off the lot, like you can just see the pride in his face. He's all flushed. His pulse is like a bass drum, and his wrist in his throat. And a couple of days later, he's got his girlfriend riding shotgun with him, her short skirt all hiked up above her knees, Pap's blue ribbon tight between her knees. And as they drive beneath an overpass, maybe 65, 70, and a 45, there is this young punk kid up on top of the ridge with a big rock <laughs> waiting to crumple in a hood or break a windshield. Well. Tommy's driving, girlfriend in the front seat, and as they drive beneath the overpass, I don't know, kid gets excited. He drops his rock too soon. Bam. Takes out one headlight. So Tommy pulls over. He rolls up his shirt sleeves past his elbows, starts climbing the ridge. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with the kid. He's like paralyzed with fear and shock at his own success. My God, he took out a headlight and he's just standing there and bam, his face explodes in like this thick red jelly and there's pain in his face and his ear and his face and his mouth and Tommy keeps on punching. And his girlfriend, that's me in case you hadn't, um, starts screaming. And Tommy looks back. I got this, he says. 